Hello friends, how are you doing? In the video of today, we will learn together how to apply for visa for Brazil step by step. In this video, we will be explaining the visa policy of this country, how to fill the application form, how and where to apply for the visa, all travel rules due to COVID-19, all the required documents that you will need while applying, and in the end, we'll ask you a question that we will discuss together in the comments. So make sure you watch this video till the end. But before we start, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and if you have any inquiry or question, please write it down there in the comment section below. If we will look together at the visa policy map of Brazil, we will find that almost all the countries of uh, Latin America can enter Brazil with only uh, the identity card. Only few countries that uh, like they can't enter with identity card, but they are eligible for visa exemption. Also, all the countries of North America, some African countries like Morocco, Tunisia, uh, South Africa, all European countries, Turkey, uh, Russia, and Australia. Also, you can see here uh, Indonesia and Malaysia, Japan, Korea, those countries can get into Brazil uh, without uh, visa. But if you are applying from the Middle East, like Egypt, or from almost all um, main, like almost all the African countries, uh, many Asian countries like India, Pakistan, uh, Iran, uh, Iraq, China, all these countries need to obtain uh, a visa from uh, the embassy in advance before traveling to Brazil. So if you would like to apply for visa for Brazil, this is the official site from where you have to fill first uh, the online application form, this site, formulario, uh, after that, okay, mre.serpro.gov.brazil, and you can change the language here, it's in Portuguese, English, French, uh, German, Spanish, let's make it in English, all right, okay, so, and in order to fill the application form, click visa, and okay they are giving you some uh, kind uh, some guidelines for the visa like you can upload a digital copy of your photo signature and other documents to your application process okay the completion of the application form is the first step in the application process okay after that after you submit your application a receipt is generated the receipt must be printed and signed by the applicant and the original documentation must be presented as a Brazilian consulate where your visa application will be processed within 180 days. To start a new visa application, click start a new application. Okay. And here are giving you some guidelines, initial steps and all the things you can read it. We just want to start uh, a new application. Uh, I have to write up a batch over here. W two P Q Y Z. All right, and now we can start uh, together filling uh, all the data. We have six steps here. Let's start together. Given name, family name, birth date. Oh. Uh, Okay. For example, marital status, male, no, place of birth. Uh, let's assume I'm applying from India. Okay, state, province, city, nationality. Do you have Brazilian nationality? No. Uh, okay. Your passport, India. Okay, do you have any other nationality? No. Parents. Okay, you can give details of your parents or you can just click uh, not informed, but it is better to fill every detail here. Father data, data also try to fill it. The given name, the family name. Okay, then click next. You can save the application and complete it later, but you will just click next. After that purpose of trip, we'll say tourism, additional objective, okay, 
uh, estimated date of arrival let's say I'm arriving at the date okay planned stay uh, for period let's say two months okay a previous stay have you ever been to Brazil no uh, exhibition of travel document in person in person okay then click next then travel document a type of your travel document of course you know what you can't write unknown but of course you have to write all the details passport number uh, one two three four five you should buy you should buy which authority okay and date of issue or also date of expiry okay other documents no then click next okay profession occupation this part uh those are optional but please fill it like professional occupation uh, employer university school organization data all this part please fill it then click next okay contact information type of means of contact let's say email and contact Com. okay permanent address you'll have to give a permanent address you can also include other means of contact that's very good uh, Egypt state province city oh sorry we agreed it is India <laughs> so let's keep it India city address in this address for is this the address for correspondence no uh, include other address no uh, contact in Brazil if you have any contact in Brazil please write it and you can write your um, like hostel if you're staying in a hotel or something but let's say not informed then click next uh, should be selected as address of correspondence okay then next Email, include at least one telephone should be informed include no uh cell phone okay zero one two three four five six seven eight nine okay then next after that you'll have to choose your photograph okay choose a photograph okay group all right it choose a signature you can choose like a file with any signature of yours okay all right okay a second document in case there is any other document you would like to upload it's good to upload documents like a air ticket and extra um, air ticket uh, your passport itinerary uh, invitation letter if exists like whatever documents you have please upload it okay then I hereby and declare then complete application okay this is your recovery of the application okay uh, so the system generated the code of retrieving the application blue for your application this code is unique for each new application started it will only be generated at the beginning of the process uh, at any time you can save the application and if you wish you can continue later okay control control c let's save it then brand delivery receipt and this is the receipt that you will have to print with you and you will have to take with you to the embassy so after um, printing this receipt and preparing all your documents that you will be speaking about in the end of this video you will have to submit it to the embassy and here we will be speaking about uh, the embassy of brazil in new delhi and 
the embassy of Brazil in Cairo and the embassy of Brazil in Islamabad, Pakistan and the embassy of Brazil in Dhaka, Bangladesh about the process in each embassy. So in case you are applying from India, you can just click here visa applying for a visa. All your documents like your application, this one has to be sent to this email along with uh, all uh, documents and uh, you will receive an email with payment information and information about the submission of the original document and they might arrange a meeting with you through Skype or WhatsApp and then you will be able to uh, review the status of your uh, visa like by clicking here online in case you are applying uh, for visa from uh, Egypt so in case from Egypt you will have to contact uh, the embassy here they are giving you some information about the visa fees for example and how to pay them the processing uh, time and all the required uh, documents we will be speaking about that in uh, the end but in general you will have to submit uh, all the documents in person let me get you the contact uh, details of the embassy in uh, in Cairo so in case you want to schedule an appointment you'll have to schedule it by email you can just send them an email consular.cairo at itamar80y.gov.br or you can also schedule this by calling them by phone and that's how you schedule your appointment if you're applying from Egypt and now let's go for uh, Pakistan so from Pakistan as they are telling you application form along with a uh, complete documents must be submitted by email uh, to this email consular.islamabad this email and uh, then they will be contacting you in case uh, you will have to submit the original documents or something or in case there is a meeting and they will be telling you how to pay the application fees and in case you are applying uh from Dhaka from uh, Bangladesh so as they are telling you in case you're applying from Bangladesh please note that we don't accept visa applications by email no by mail or nor by email applicants must submit their application in person or through a friend relative or uh, agent so first you will have to check uh the address of the embassy uh, of uh, of Brazil in Dhaka so as they are telling you down there the consular section in Dhaka is open uh, from 9 30 a.m. to uh, 12 30 p.m. from Sunday to Thursday and this is the location from Google Maps and this is the phone number in case you would like to contact them or to arrange an appointment but in general you just need to appear there in person to submit your uh, visa application and all the required documents speaking about the visa fees in case you're applying from india they will be sending you a link and through this link you can pay your visa fees online if you are applying from egypt you have to transfer the amount to this bank over here and the price is 80 us dollars it's not shown here but it is 80 usd dollars in case you are uh, applying from uh from pakistan then this is the details of the bank in pakistan where you will have to pay your uh, visa and also the tourist visa is 80 us dollars and if you are applying from dhaka those are the details this is the amount you'll have to uh, pay in the name of the brazilian embassy in dhaka and that's how you pay your visa uh, either you are applying from india or pakistan or egypt or bangladesh and for any other country you can easily find the way of paying the fees uh, in the website so due to covid 19 there are some regulations that you have to be careful as uh, before boarding the aircraft uh, you will you must show uh, those documents the first thing is a proof of negative covid 19 tests uh, bt bcr performed within uh, 72 hours or an antigen test performed within 24 hours uh, you will have also to show a proof of vaccination branded or electronic uh, or uh, electronically and also there is a proof 
branded or digital of completing the declaration of travelers health dsf this is a form that you will have to fill uh, online here and it must be filled with a maximum 24 hours barrier the departure to brazil so you this is the page over here here you choose the language they are they having like almost all the languages i'm just searching for uh english a b c d okay english here and here by clicking here you can start uh, travelers health declaration and okay first name last name and your email address and then click continue and keep filling uh, the form and those are the regulations regarding to uh, COVID-19. So what are the travel documents that you need to prepare before applying for the visa? Speaking about your passport, your passport must be original and it must not be older than 10 years with at least 6 months of remaining validity and with at least 2 blank visa pages for the stamps. In many cases you will need also a passport photocopy. It might be one copy or more than one and it's preferred to be colored and both data page and photo page must be shown if separated. In some cases, you might be required to photocopy every single page of your passport. But in general, only the data page and the photo page are the needed ones. Speaking about the personal pictures, you will need at least two personal pictures. Sometimes only one is needed, other times three pictures are needed, but in general, they are only two. They must be new, not older than six months. It should be clear and show your full face. And it is preferred to be with white background. And you should give normal and neutral expressions. No head or face covering is acceptable except for religious reasons speaking about the visa application form in general cases you need only one copy of the visa application form but sometimes you might be required to submit two copies or even three visa forms are different from a country to another in general cases you should print it and fill it manually but many countries now are providing their application form in an online platform so you can fill the application form online and after that you can print it and sign it anyway for the application form you just fill it as we do in the video in most of the visa application process you will be required to provide a proof of status for example if you are an employee you will have to provide a letter from your employer or from your HR department mentioning your name your work detail and your salary and both address and contact numbers should be mentioned also in that letter and all letters must have an original signature and a stamp but in case you are the owner of the company or you run your own business then your commercial registry and your tax card must be presented but if you are a student in a school or a college an enrollment letter should be provided from your university or your school in some certain cases you might be applying from a country different than your own country at that moment you will need to provide a proof of a legal status which is a certificate of legal residence in this country and in some cases a valid residence visa for this country can be also accepted you will also need to provide a proof of sufficient funds which is a bank statement stating your balance for at least six months the original bank statement must show your name and should be signed and stamped by the bank representatives and remember that cash will not be accepted as a proof of fund you should also provide a flight reservation it could be an initial booking, but in some minor cases, you will need to provide a confirmed booking. And remember that this flight reservation must include a return ticket. So let me show you a short tutorial in how to book your flight. And we will use this site, skyscanner.net. All right, starting with our site, this part is a little bit boring, but we will see what we can do. First, you have to select what type of uh, flight you want. A return flight, like two ways, going and returning, or one way flight, or multi-city and let me show you an option if you would like to change the language you can change it from here you can choose your language you can choose your country you can choose your currency whatever fits you all right so assuming that you have for example a travel plan you're moving between different cities so you can choose this multi-city option you can add different cities here and you can adjust your dates, date of arrival date of departure and you can book all these tickets at once which is a very great option but let's just assume you are moving from only one city to another and you want to have a return of flight going and turning back so uh, assuming you are going from istanbul of course you can choose whatever you want if it's an istanbul or surat or whatever airport it is and returning what is your uh destination where are you going you're going to delhi or you are going to uh, tbilisi or uh, or whatever georgia sorry 
Georgia, Tbilisi. And here you will have to choose your departure date. And here you'll have to choose your return date. And here you have to choose your cabin class. Are you going on economy class, premium economy, business class, first class, or what? And you're an adult, okay? You have any children with you, all right? And here, okay, now you can search flights once you click search flights all the flights will appear in front of you you can choose whatever flight you want you can go with the best or the cheapest or the fastest but it's almost the same here but of course the price will change depending on the destination and also it will change depending on the date so let's click this uh, flight for example and now will appear in front of us let's check the details of this flight and for this flight, you can book it from different sites. You can uh, book it directly from Skyscanner or you can go to any of those sites to book it. But yeah, we will book it from Skyscanner. It is the cheapest anyway. Let's click book. But wait, before booking, let's see the details of each flight. Okay, it's a direct flight from Istanbul to Tbilisi and it's a direct flight from Tbilisi to Istanbul. So by clicking on these arrows, you can see the details of each uh, flight. Let's click book and here you can see the dates. Okay, you're going, departure. Okay, going, returning and the date and now click book. So once you click booking, your trip appears in front of you and the total price appears in euros. Why? Because they set their prices here in euro in sky scanner so now you can see the details okay you have one cabin page you have one checked page now let's click next and see more about the details and the checkout so in the end what you need to do is to add a contact details which is an email and a phone number and after that you will have to add a traveler which is your name your middle name your last name and in the end you will have to click bay and by clicking bay you can do your payment and congratulations you booked your flight you will also need to provide a proof of accommodation it could be a confirmed hotel reservation or an invitation from a host in this country or an invitation from an organization you are visiting in this country for a hotel or hostel an initial booking is acceptable but in some minor cases you might need to provide a confirmed booking and anyway the name of your hotel must be mentioned and the address and the contact number but in case you are invited by a person either the letter of invitation should be mailed directly to the embassy or to be submitted by you accompanied by a copy of the passport of that inviting person there are different sites that you can use to book a hotel or a hostel but let me show you a fast tutorial how to book your hostel from booking.com so this is our site booking.com first you have to specify where are you going let's say i'm going to istanbul i want to have istanbul okay i'm traveling okay for example check in okay let's say at that date and check out let's say at that date and i want one adult one room and let's click search all right by clicking search okay there are giving me all the locations and they are giving me the price here in egyptian pound let's assume i would like to change my currency i will change my currency from here i will choose usd dollars and now the prices are here usd dollars for the full period those things in this side will help you for your choice you can filter by your budget or your popular filter or health and safety whatever interests you more star rating whatever it is but there is an interesting option here also that you can arrange all of these things depending on price if you are uh, a low budget traveling person so we can rearrange it according to price lowest first and let's see the price lowest first for the full period and you can see that we are having very good prices in somehow okay good quality also we can see also we can check for better quality okay still good price for very good quality let's check availability okay i like that one it looks old and only five beds left at this price so you are booking a bit in 
dormitory and one bunk bed see availability once you click see availability the whole apartment or the whole place appears in front of you you can see all the details of this place and you can here start choosing the availability like you can like change the dates and the most popular facilities here that non-smoking rooms free wi-fi 24 hours front desk terrace and heating also because sometimes istanbul gets very cold they are also giving you here some selections like for example bed in male dormitory room and you can see all the details here like okay air conditioning free wi-fi shower toilet uh, heating hair dryer and of course if you want any other option like comfort double or twin room or classic double or twin room or standard travel room whatever you want but let's just go for the cheapest and select only one bed you can select of course more than one bed and they give you different things like free cancellations and no prepayment needed you can pay directly at the property so if you in case you would like to cancel it they are giving you a specific time and a specific date in that date till that date you are free to you can cancel this booking for free just click i will reserve once you click i will reserve here you are filling your details they are giving all the booking details it is for four nights and this uh, price is 35 dollars and here you will have to enter your details all your details and bid in mail dormitory room okay you'll have to give your full name and if you have any special request or something and also here give your arrival time so you have just to review all these parts and in the end you will click final details by clicking final details you will review again all your details and you will confirm your booking once your booking is confirmed you will receive an email in your email like that stating the check-in details and the check-out detail and the duration of the stay the phone number and the address of the place and all the details and this is the page that you will have to print and take with you to the embassy while applying for the visa many countries also especially the schengen area countries require you to provide a traveling insurance and you have to be careful and to apply through the companies that are accepted officially in these countries for example in case for schengen area countries there are some certain specifications for this travel insurance like the insurance coverage must be at least thirty thousand euros and in general case you can apply for this insurance online now let's look together as a travel insurance company those are some travel insurance companies you can use any of those websites to apply for as a travel insurance but since I know that travel insurance is a little bit confusing for most of people I selected two companies and we will see together how to apply for travel insurance through those two companies applying for travel insurance is quite confusing for many people but here i selected the site europeinsurance.eu and let's see how to apply for travel insurance first you have to select your main destination in europe which is a selected france the start date the end date let's say you're just staying for one month and you want this insurance for one month and here you write your date of birth then get a quota okay so now there are two types of travel insurance the first one is basic and it costs 19 uh, the 19 euros per month and it covers more than 60 thousand euros which is required because for travel insurance you have to apply for something more than or equals to 30 thousand euros so i will select this one and here if you want to extend but just let's keep it like that for this basic one i will select it over here and now i will have to fill my details my the insured person my name and the policy holder also if it is the same person though the same also details my own details and important uh, statements just some statements and in the end you will get to the payment so this travel insurance uh, which will cover more than 60 thousand euros for one month it's just only 19 euros let's check another site which is axa which is quite expensive uh, site 
and here they give you different periods like for Schengen low uh, cost, Schengen Europe travel, Schengen multi trip, get a quote. Okay, so for the prices here, okay, let's first you need to click get a quota over here for the cheapest one. Okay, and here they will ask you the Schengen low cost um, they will ask you about the start date and the end date of your travel so my first date is this one all right 12 and my last date let's say will be 11th of april also for one month and this one for 31 days and it's a little bit it's not a little bit expensive it is expensive and it covers uh, only up to 30 thousand euros but you know the difference is sometimes about um the rate of the company and uh, also uh, the categories they are uh, covering in the travel insurance but here i'm just showing you how to uh, choose how how to apply because this is because choosing the category uh, the options is something depending on you but Many people are just having some problems. What is the travel insurance? How to apply through the travel insurance? So all these other details I will leave to you. I'm just showing you how to apply through the site and what is the real cost uh, of the travel insurance by saying 30 thousand dollars would don't mean that you should have this balance in your bank or to prove that you have it because some people think uh, so those who are not really having experience with travel insurance then here you click continue and after you click continue you click here for the subscriptions you will have to fill all your details and after filling your details you will um, make your payment and in the end you will get a confirmation of your travel insurance and that's how you apply for travel insurance through this website